video will be a plus size for Rider's Guide to Family Kingdom Amusement Park located in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We recently visited this park at the very beginning of August, so all this information is very current. Um, this park is more like, honestly, it reminds me more of a fair than a traditional theme park. But if you're in the area um, and wanting to visit, this video just goes over how plus size friendly this park really is and how you as a plus size rider may fit in these rides. For reference, I'll use myself and I'm about 300 pounds upon when I visited and I am five foot six and I carry most of my weight in my stomach but I do have rather large hips and thighs. And I'm also going to reference to my husband as well and it, because he came with me. He is five foot eight and weighs 260 pounds approximately. Um, most of his weight is carried mainly in his gut area, um, some in his chest area as well. Um, but I'm just going to go every ride, over every ride how I personally fit and how you as a plus size rider may fit as well in these rides. This is Swamp Fox, the wooden roller coaster in the park. Um, this coaster restraint, it's a PTC, Philadelphia Toboggan Company coaster. And you'll have two seats with the um, divider in the middle. And... Instead of being the traditional individual lap belt and lap bar, this actually has a buzz bar, which comes down to one position only and a shared seat belt across like the whole car. So what my, me and my husband did for comfort, and I recommend you do this as well, is we actually sat in separate cars. Um, so just tell the ride off, hey, one person, and then... I got in the seat, got buckled fine. I didn't find the seats too terribly squishy. Um, the buckle, I'm really grateful we did that by ourselves though, because the seat belt probably only had maybe six or seven inches of slack on me. And the buzz bar came down on me and it was pretty, I think it was pretty close, but unfortunately I didn't quite fit to be able to ride the ride at my current size. I do have a really large gut though, so if you do carry your weight more in your hips or thighs or your chest area, you'll probably be fine, um, but me personally, I was unable to ride. Now my husband, he was able to ride, and he said it was a pretty tight squeeze um, for him too with that buzz bar where it came down. It comes down right and right, right by your belly button. So, if that is the biggest area of you, you too may have some issues as well. This is Twist and Shout, which is a wild mouse coaster, the other major coaster here at Family Kingdom. What my, me and my husband did for this coaster is he sat in the front and I sat in the back. Um, there's an individual lap or seat belt that goes on each rider. I believe it's a shared lap bar, but it may actually be an individual lap bar. I can't remember 100% sure. And I've been able to ride wild mouse coasters just fine um, in the past. This one though, um, the lap bar just comes down to your level of comfort. So that wasn't going to be an issue, but for me, the belt was probably like eight or 10 inches too short. So it was like no way it was gonna happen. Um, my husband was able to ride just fine. So I'm, I think that some seatbelts are going to be longer than others. I actually really think that because he said he had a lot of slack on his. Um, so if I would have been sitting where he was sitting, I probably would have been fine to ride. Um, but where I was sitting, I wasn't. I don't know if it's because I was in the back or, or anything about that. But I do recommend if you're a plus size rider for comfort, like try to sit by yourself just because the seats aren't exactly the widest seats in the world, um, but that's twist and shout. All right, moving on to some rides that other than roller coasters. This is Galleon, and it is the pirate ship swinging boat ride, and normally never really have too much of an issue with these rides. 
And um, they kind of may be pressing in my gut a little bit. Like they may with others as well. However, I'm going to warn you on this one. It pressed into your stomach really, really bad. Like, it was bearable, but it wasn't great. And just FYI, I could ride. But it really, really was squishy and tight on my stomach. So, if you do have a bigger stomach, just something to be mindful of. This is Slingshot, the drop tower ride. And I didn't ride this ride, but my husband did. Um, I'm not a big fan of drop towers, so I decided to just skip this one. Um, it has the typical over-the-shoulder restraint with a buckle that does come up and buckle into that over-the-shoulder restraint. My husband said he fit just fine. Um, he was able to buckle himself, no issues. Um, so, it looks like it may be a little bit more accommodating for plus-size riders. Um, Especially for somebody his size. Now, as again, I didn't ride it, but he didn't have any issues. So, if you're around his size, I definitely say you'd be fine, though. And probably a little bit bigger as well. This is the log flume, which is hands down the best ride here. Like, it may not look like much, but this log ride, um, hands down the best ride. It's typical log flume style setup. You'll have your front and your back seat, where I think you can have up to four or five riders. Um, there's no restraints or anything, so any size can ride. Um, there is a weight limit of 660 pounds per car, though, um, or per log, I should say. So other than that, though, you should definitely be able to ride this log flume ride. The following rides and attraction at Family Kingdom are going to be accessible to pretty much everyone, except maybe if you are like exceptionally large. And they are going to be the bumper cars, the hurricane, the thunderbolt, the tilt a whirl, the antique car rides, the pistolero roundup, the train as well. This is the yo-yo, which is the swing ride, and um, this ride just has one style swing seat. Um, you'll just need to get that bar that kind of comes down to walk into the seat belt and get your legs between the seat belts. It's not very hard to do. I'm able to ride. Um, it's not the most comfortable ride, but I can ride it. My husband was fine as well. There's no weight limit on these particular swings either, which is um, nice. And I will say one thing before I move on. On their website, you will see the Ferris wheel and Barry go round both listed. However, when we went there, we saw the frame for the Ferris wheel. However, it's no longer there. And the Barry go round was nowhere to be found either. So, um, believe they both they took out both of those rides i'm not exactly sure why um but both of those rides are no longer there these are the bumper boats at family kingdom and they do have a 250 pound weight limit on them so unfortunately we did not ride this bumper boat ride um but judging by the looks of it if you are under 250 pounds then you should definitely be fine to ride the bumper boats this is a carousel. It's just a traditional carousel ride. You got horses and you have the uh, stationary um, bench car just there. I'm not sure what the technical term for those are. So if anybody knows, comment below. <laughs> um, but anyway, no weight limits. I've seen bigger adults on these horses. So if you want to get up on a horse, have at it. Or you can ride... And the little stationary bench if you'd like to as well. Um, either way, you know, it's very accommodating for plus size riders. This is Kite Flyer, and this is a ride where you lay on your stomach and kind of like flying. And you'll have kind of like this metal cage like restraint that comes down on your back and restrains you. In my experience, this is not a very plus size friendly ride for neither me. Nor my husband. 
Um, you're going to have pretty average dimensions to really be able to ride this. Um, also, if you have a big butt, you're going to actually have some problems too with that restraint trying to come down because I've seen people not very big, they actually have a big butt and have issues just because of how that restraint has to come down and it hits their butt. Um, so just be mindful of that. Um, I say you probably going to have to be less than 200 pounds to ride this comfortably. That would be my guess. Um, but just definitely not a very plus size friendly ride at all. This is the Magic Bikes ride. Um, in this ride, there's usually two people sitting side by side. Um, and they like pedal to control the height of the vehicle. How high you're going to go in the air. Um, you have an individual bucket style seat. And with this bucket style seat, it's not very wide at all. Like it's pretty narrow. If you have any sort of big butt or wide hips, you're going to have a problem sitting in this seat. Now the seat belt itself, I don't know if you can tell in this picture, um, it's actually pretty long. Um, it's just that that seat is not very wide at all and very smushy and it's, you know, hard plastic. And um, it's going to be uncomfortable if you do have a bigger butt or hips. Um, they could get smushed. Uh, not a pleasant ride if you are a bigger person in those areas. If you do have a bigger chest, though, you won't have a problem with this ride, though. This is Frog Hopper, and I couldn't even find a picture of the exact ride at Family Kingdom. Um, but I know it exists there. But this is basically the same ride, this picture. And, um... This ride adults can ride, however, it is not very great for plus size riders. It's very squishy. You really need to be an average size adult to be able to ride. The seats are narrow and a shared lap bar comes down across the whole row. Um, so unless you're pretty small, this is not going to be a ride that you can ride. This is flight school, which is a kid's ride that adults can ride too. Um, like this adult pictured is riding in the back and their child is riding in the front. Um, I know there is a seat belt. I'm not sure how long the seat belt is. Um, it looks to be pretty accommodating. Maybe if you're tall, you may have an issue. Um, it's just really going to depend on your fit of how long that seat belt is. It is a kid's ride, so it's probably not going to be a super long seat belt, though. Following rides and attractions are not accessible to us bigger people, and it's not because of our size. It is because of maximum height requirements because these are children only rides. This list of rides includes the big trucks, the canoes, the combo ride, cycles, dune buggies, the kitty coaster, the kitty speedway, the kitty swing, the kitty wheel, the mini bumper cars, the mini enterprise, the red baron, and the wet boats. Includes the Family Kingdom video for plus sized riders. And the only rides I didn't really talk about were the zip lines and the go karts, which are both upcharge attractions. So, like, what we did was we bought a wristband and just did rides included on the wristband, or you can buy individual tickets if you wanted to. And do like the go-karts and the zip lines. The zip lines, I don't see a weight limit listed, but I'm sure there is one. Um, the go-karts, I don't see a weight limit or anything either. Um, they look like just standard go-karts. So um, as long as they're not a weight limit, go-karts are usually pretty accommodating, I've noticed. Um, and they do have a water park called Splashes as well, but we did not get a chance to visit that water park because it was closed due to COVID when we visited. Um, but other than that, pretty much covered all the rides here at Family Kingdom. If you do have any additional questions about any of the rides or attractions or how you think you as a plus size rider may fit, um, feel free to comment down below and, and I'll try to answer your question as soon as I can. And if you did enjoy this video, found it helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.